Go back. Go back. Good dog. Cody, go back. Good dog. Good. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, good. Good. Dead. Good dog. Good dog. So fun. Good. We're back here um, to do Cody go back and we're, we're gonna work on rights and lefts. Um, we've had a couple of really good days in a row. Uh, we're gonna piggyback on that, do, keep it very simple, do the same thing that we did yesterday. Um, my thought with it today is that that concern with back fading, her going back to fade a little bit once we go to the rights and lefts, um, it almost always happens. That's why we do back for so long. Um, prior to right and left you can tell I mean we're just a few days into right and left and back yesterday got got a little sticky which prior to going right and left back was real um, uh, she was real responsive no thinking just go and so I want to I, I do think that when you start something new it's okay to leave uh, the thing that you had been working on set it aside don't leave it but set it aside focus on teaching a new thing and then start integrating the old thing back into it um, we're going to do a little bit of that i also um with her because of the, and i would do that probably um more so if i had a longer window of time with her i i'm okay with compartmentalizing training when it comes to specific stuff like this and then mixing it kind of back in together master 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 different skills and then mix them back together slowly that takes i think a little more time um and with her we, we've got her for about another month before uh, about about five weeks before the first season would open. Um, I don't like being pressed up against dates, um, but she is gonna be going on a hunt in early September. Um, so we wanna make sure we, and I talked with her owner about it, she's not gonna be done by then, but she's gonna be very functional by then. Um, that's our objective, that's our goal. That's why you see some of these geese. Um, she's gonna be on a snow goose hunt in, in Canada. Um, so we've got some decoys that we're gonna start to incorporate. Um, kind of sectioned off of right and left. Right and left, uh, the, the part of our drill, so today our drill um, is gonna be, right and left is gonna be a very specific part of it. Back is gonna be a specific part of it to begin with. And we're adding in some decoys to it. So if you wanna visualize how we're looking at our session, that's how we're gonna kind of break it apart. Um, and then I'll see where she's at after right and left. I wanna make sure right and left is very clean. Um, it goes very smoothly. Uh, we don't have any problems. I'm not going to complicate it too much. I want to make another. I want to get another really clean session out of it before I go back to the idea of my next thing with her. In my mind is okay. Now I want to be able to put one on the right and one on the left and send her to the left or send her to the right and have her be able to do that with the, without a lot of confusion. She'll be sticky. I'm sure she'll be sticky. Um, but to break it through and then build the confidence. But I just think she's not there yet. Um, um, she needs to be more confident and explosive to the right, explosive to the left, um, reactionary, not think about and then go. Um, that'll happen when we go, start going right and left. She'll have to think about it. And I, I think um, it's that, that is this, that's finding that sweet spot of when does she do it strong enough that you can start adding more stuff to it. So, but I do have other work I want, that I'm doing with her. Want to lengthen her out. I uh, want to continue to get her sharp on stopping to the whistle um, to take to take a handle, right, left, or back. Um, so we'll, we'll do that here. And the nice part about it is it's real cool this morning. We've gotten some more seasonal type temps. We're into the 50s at night. So um, in the six, we're into the 60s probably now, but um, this whole time she She's worked on her steadiness sitting on the other side of the fence. These are all just little drills um, that are being built into bigger sessions. So, Cody, over. And you can see her, I suppose that camera will get it. She's not the most athletic little girl. Um, she can be a little bit clumsy at times. But then, you know, I, I've seen her go through this fence, sit a couple times now in the last week. Uh, we haven't practiced it much. We haven't done much over the fence. Um, we used it earlier as a barrier to send her through. And we're going to do that again today. Um, 
we had it and the nice part about this fence is by having it on these poles like we can adjust it we had it down two or three not two notches down because yesterday or two days ago we had Ben's dog Josie and we were kind of showing her how to jump over so it's real nice to just be easy can take it down easily but I want to I want her to she knows over now now I want her to get focused on don't jump so far behind that you plow into it don't uh, realize that there's some measuring to take place here as far as your height for jumping so uh, let's I want her doing that before we get into the drill Cody over a little bit of a caught the back leg there good over a little premature but I'm okay with the, the, the athleticism because she's realizing boy I gotta get a little higher um, I don't want her breaking on me I'm not gonna get on her about that she's extremely sensitive uh, we all know that sit so you gotta be really with her you gotta be real careful where you pick your corrections over good now three nice little jumps and now we move on so to start out with nice white dummy into the into the decoys she's not seen decoys well, I'm sure she's seen some decoys we had her on some duck decoys last year she's not seen these decoys before this will this will create a little bit of a difference um, for her two bumpers very close to each other uh, that's going to be a test too to switch so I'm going to do this very short because I can I can actually add in now a little bit of a switching drill um, I'm going to do real short make sure she doesn't switch and then I'm going to go real long um, and stretch her out and get her back so um, first one to start out with because there's new stuff do decoys a little bit of switching opportunity here so it's combo it's combining a bunch of our other drills that we've done I'm not gonna do any back casting in it I'm just gonna line her up and over get her to pick one make sure she picks one have her come back and then I might strip lengthen it out and add a little distance to it Cody go back here 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 come on come on come on good over good and there you could see the her struggle with engaging. I mean, I don't know if she could have ran into it any 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 worse than that, but um, that's okay. She's got to figure it out. It's depth perception, I think. Um, heel. Not. I don't. I wouldn't call it a true switch. She never picked one up. We got to work on that. I don't want her shopping. Um, so, but I'm not. That's not the drill right now. Um, here. Good. This goes back to yesterday when we sent her into the tennis tennis walls and the cover. I don't think the decoys mattered to her at all. So I'm not, I have no concerns with that. I'm gonna pull her to me, stop her, send her back. Go back. Good. Good. Very good. Hold. Good. Dead. Good. I'm going to leave her on a remote. So, no concerns. I have no concerns with the idea of the decoys getting in the way of anything. She's, she'll navigate through those. I've got a big duck. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like the Aflac duck. Um, pretty good size. It's about the size of a snow goose. She's not picked one up that big yet, so we're gonna be working on that too. We'll probably film that when we do it. Um, but that's preparing her for a little bit bigger object. I'll show you how I kind of go about doing that too. Um, eventually, we'll replicate this snow goose thing to the point where we'll be using those, those ducks, those big Aflac ducks, and collars and all sorts of stuff and gunfire and all that stuff before she goes to Canada. We'll get really close to um, looking like a little bit of a snow goose hunt heel. This time I'm gonna stop her at the position that we're gonna end up doing our handling later on this morning, which is gonna be right at this intersection of the T. Good. Good. I gotta let her get comfortable with Ben. Go 
luck. Good. 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 Now the white bumper was behind her. She saw it. She ran over the top of this one, picked this one. Good. Picked this one, turned around and came right back. Didn't go to look at that white one. Good, did. Did. Didn't go to look at that dead one, so I like that. Uh, that was a real, she did a real nice job with that. Now, I'm gonna add a little distance to this last one and stretch this one out, and then we'll move into rights and lefts. This one, I plan to stop her to the whistle on the way out, as long as she takes the line confident, which I expect her to. If she doesn't, then we gotta work on that, but we would do it somewhere else, different time. Good, ready? Watch, watch. Cody, go back. Here, there's that, this is the same thing we saw yesterday. Thank you. Just not quite dialed. She's not remembering that last one confidently, so I gotta get her to lock in before I send her, or I'm gonna have that same issue. Watch, watch. Go, go back. Good. Great way to end it. Good. Hold. Did. Good. You could see that with that one. She knew it was back there and she thought, are you sure you want me to come back? Now, the reason I want her to be doing that is because as we start in, heel, heel, heel. It's all control thing. And as we start in to add in rights and lefts and multiple dummies and all that stuff, I might decide to send her on something different than that one. I may end up, you know, there's a blind or something that she didn't see go down, which would be a blind for her, but in a training, we're gonna set it up like a blind. Then I'm gonna end up sending her to get out to instead of going to the one she knows is there. That's why I need her to recognize that in training and go, it's right behind me. I know it is. She looked back, she looked back. She looked at me, she heard the whistle. She thought, God, he wants me to come to him. Why, why would I, why would I go to him? because I said to come to me. And when I got her to that spot right in front of Ben to stop her, eventually I'm gonna say get out and there's gonna be one over here and she's not gonna know about it. We'll train lots of stuff to get to that point, but I need her to be able to do it without that dummy to show me that she can, I have that ability and I have that control with her before and, and then send her back and have her confidently pick that one because we need that, we need all of those parts and pieces. So. Here with this one, I don't have my white dummy. Leave it. I'm gonna go right into the next session, next section of what we're gonna be training for here. We're just gonna go rights and lefts, but this one's gonna be a long one. Um, I wish I had my white dummy launcher one. I would have stood that up, she'd have seen it. Uh, this will be a little tricky for her. Uh, maybe, because it's, it's a little bit harder to see. It's a little bit longer. She just came off of picking up over there, so this is new to her, but it's something we've done. We did yesterday. We did it the day before. Sit. Good. 
you know, I'm not gonna th confuse her, I'm not gonna test her here, I'm not gonna throw a dummy over the top of her head, I'm not gonna put one out over there. That's something I want to do, but I realize it's just not, not wise to do it with her yet. She's gotta get this, she's gotta get like crawling before she can walk, walking before she can run. This is still crawling. She's gotta get real good at it. Good. The, the, the level of difficulty will be this little bit of time we put in and the idea of she just picked up three bumpers, over, four bumpers over there. Get out, get out. Oh, I knew it was coming too. I could tell with, looking at her, she doesn't remember this one. That's okay. And her, her, her response was, I know I should move, I just don't know where. And confusion brought her in. But look, at, look back when we first started doing these, the first thing she did when we went right and left was she'd come to me. She didn't have the confidence, good, good. She just looked down that aisle, good. Now it's going back to memory, good. Get out, get out, good. No, 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 no. Too long of a distance, here, sit, good. We went too long of a distance and we put too much time into it. Good, good. Every time she looks, I'm gonna tell her good. Good. Get out. Good. Good dog. Good dog. So it tells me, good, hold. It clearly tells me that my right, or my, you know, my lefts and rights aren't strong enough yet. This habit, this repetition is not strong enough yet. Sit, sit, sit. Now, I've got that one out there and I'm gonna just slowly work to it. Cause I don't wanna waste that one, I still wanna get her to it. That one kind of flipped over into the tall weeds, that's all right. The idea that she does, that what's clear to me is she just doesn't respond yet. Hard right, hard left, run with confidence because he said it and that's what it looks like. Sit. But why should she? It's only been a couple days. It just takes a while for this stuff to click. I'll figure out, I'll know and I'll mention it. I'll make a mental note of it when it clicks with her. When I think she's got it. She doesn't have it yet. That's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. <clears throat> Get out. Good. Good dog. Good dog. Come on. Now I think she might have seen the long dummy. The one that's out there further. Hold. Good. Hold. Hold. These bigger bumpers, she's got to figure out how to hold a little bit better. And that's kind of worrisome to me a little bit because we're going to be going to that big goose. I got to get her picking these bigger things up. Good, she's gotten loose with them in the last week, the, the big ones. Dead, dead, good, good, very good. Come on, sit, sit, go out. Now I do think when she ran down this line, I do think she saw that one. Just based on her tempo and her speed until she got real close to this, sec this close one, she kind of locked the brakes up on it. Instead of easing into it, she er, turned and grabbed it. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more to it. I'm gonna pull this one out of the shadows and make sure it's not in at all. Real easy to see. 
I'm setting myself up to send her on that one as a memory. Good. 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 Heel. I'm gonna let her even stand on this one. Good. Get out. Good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Right here, I'm gonna meet her back here. Here, good. Dead. Good dog. Heel, 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 heel. Good. Good. Get out, get out, good, good girl, good dog, very good, loose on the delivery, look at how sloppy that is, we gotta fix that, good, hold, hold, good, good, that's a good dog, did, and a lot of enthusiasm for that one because that's a, that's a big hurdle and I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't know that she was gonna take it. Her body language didn't show to me super confident. What I love about it was, is because she wasn't that confident, didn't look that confident, her mouth didn't close, her ears weren't perked, she was kind of relaxed. And when I got, came down and I finished with the motion and the command, that was the first I've seen of a, uh, just a reaction kind of. But I think it's because we've just done three in a row. Why not do it again? Here, that's it, good. Good. I'm gonna do that again. Stick, I'm just gonna pound this in today. Left, 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 left. I might go right one or two times at the end, but we'll see. There's her long one. Here's a short one. And the difference will be the second one doesn't get a setup like this. The second one will be right back out there without visually marking it down. So that's, that's where that memory will have to come in. Good. Good. Come here. I'm gonna walk her into it again, just like we did. This is prepping me for Recalling her to the whistle, stop and send. It's just, this time I'm, I'm handling, I'm walking right next to her. Heel, heel. Get out, get out, good, good. Just getting a little bit jumpy, which is, ah, ah, no, 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 here. Good, good, very good. Extra praise for that, good. Avoided the switch, good, good, dead. Learned something, she learned something there. Avoided that switch. That's how crisp your timing has to be. I mean, those are those are five yards apart. Sit. And in that split second, she cut half that in distance. So we have to be sharp. Good. Here's a memory. Good. The fly got in the way that time. We had all sorts of distractions. Good. 
let her settle just slightly. There's noises over there. The girls are leaving, so there's plenty of distraction here. Let's see how strong the, the understanding is. Get out. Good, good, good dog. Good dog. That's a good dog. Very good. Hold, hold. Good dog, thank you. Good girl. Here. Good, hold, good. Did, did, did. Very good. Good dog. Okay. Um, Let's go right, real simply. I don't want to put too much on this. Sit. But what a, for me, a really, a feeling of a lot accomplished here so far. Don't want to push it too far, but I don't want to, I don't want to spoil an opportunity here either. She's really, you know, she's, she's absorbing right now. Good, good. Get out, get out. Good dog, good dog. Very good. Hold, did, good, good. Notice her come in, she had a little belly loop there. She came in, step and a half. Um, because the setup is what the setup is in this short grass, sit, it worked. A little bit more distance. Good. Making this super simple. Throwing it for her. Good, she's looking at it. Good. Confused her there by putting the left hand up. And look at what she does, she looks that way. But I'm gonna push it through with the right, right away. Get out, get out, good. Good. Hunt's a little short, little short, little short. Good dog. Good dog. Very good. What a difference adding 10 yards makes. Hold. Good. Good, dead. Good. When I said I confused her there, I did it on purpose. Put my left hand up. Didn't blow a whistle. Sent, was going to send her right. Just that was a little, just a li little layer I added. Sit on purpose to get her to think through it. This will be it. Good. Good. I'm gonna back up slightly. I added five yards, which makes a difference. Look at what five yards did there. Get out. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog, nice and clean. Very good. Good dog, hold. Get that delivery square. Good. Good. Good, right here. Good. Dead. That one was really nice. <clears throat> I timed my everything off of her body language. Her mouth came to a close. Everything set up really perfectly for that um, to end. Very nice session today. Again, no, not a huge step um, distance wise in our journey, but such a real strong, small step. Um, chances to learn on stuff, chances for me to learn a little bit more about her and where she's at. Um, we both benefited from it. She went a little bit longer. Like I could have cut that short <clears throat> two or three times. I could have cut that exercise, this session down. Um, but I have to start lengthening stuff out. The temperatures allowed it, but she's, it's warming up. And uh, she's getting a little bit, you know, warmed up as well. So she's got to start to figure out how to be able to think even when she's a little bit winded. Um, this was just a nice mix of it. What I want to do is I'm going to let her settle. I'm going to give her a second. And I'm pushing it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. 
I got energy after a session like that. That was really good. Um, I want to give her a little hunt command <clears throat> and have her hunt this tennis ball. Um, so I'm going to let her and then we're going to finish it on that. So really today we added multiple skills into it. Um, so we're just, we're, we had, I think we've had a very productive day. This is the moment that you have to realize don't go much further or figure out when you can, when you're done. We're going to be, I think we can get one more productive thing out of it and then we'll put her up. I've got other dogs I can go work with. Um, but this is, this was a real good session. Good, good. I'm going to cover her eyes from here. And that goes into the cover. So heel. There's something to break up what we just did. Cody. We've done that before where we just have a real long delay. Good. We we'll go pick it up ourselves. Good. Good. Two things to get in the way of her mind. And now she goes, oh yeah, I remember you covered my eyes a little while ago. <clears throat> now, to do this one, at some point, I would like to sit her here and send her in. See how that's kind of at a point? I want her to push right into the middle and not be veered off to the side. I have a feeling that she would go to the right. She'd go to the left there. I don't want to do that. I want to end this real positive. So I get where there's a longer stretch here. The ball somewhere in the middle. Sit, sit. I'm going to get her back into the cover. As soon as she gets in it deep enough, but before she finds the ball, I'm going to stop her to the whistle and then give her a little hunt command and have my intentions or hopes are she holds that little area tight, picks it clean, we get out of here. Go back. Go back. Go back. Good. Good. Good, good dog, good dog, good hold. Nice, short, tight hunt. Um, didn't take too long, she hunted it tight. One thing I should mention is I, I took these ten, this, this tennis ball and I got a bunch of new ones that are airing out right now. I put some um, of Conquest scent. Uh, it's just a stick scent. We, I love using that on tennis balls. Um, I like our liquid scent for tennis balls if we're doing antler stuff or if we're doing um, blood trail stuff, tracking stuff. Um, I like the sticks, uh, and I've been putting duck scent on these ones, um, but I need to freshen those up occasionally. Um, just the last eh, week or two, my dog struggled on the tennis balls. Put a little bit of scent on. You got to help them out. I, I don't want them to fail. We, you saw some of the tennis ball stuff that we did that they really struggled on. So measure the amount that you got to help them. Don't make it so easy that they don't learn. Don't make it so hard that they fail. Again always about balancing stuff so that's it we're done for today that was a great session um, we'll build on it we'll go on it with on, on with it tomorrow